This is the NFL on EA Sports, and we join you from South Philly, close to 70,000 strong, packing Lincoln Financial Field, the home of the Eagles. Thanks for having us in, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson, or should I say Dean Olson, because tight end you doesn't happen without you, and uh, we've got a great matchup here. We've got two of the best at your position in the current game right now. And, Mike, when I came into the league, I mean, almost 20 years ago, there was a handful of really elite tight ends. But doesn't it just seem, especially over these last couple of years, every single team, at least the ones that make their mark and find themselves in the playoffs competing for Super Bowls, have a legitimate number one threat at the tight end position. It almost feels like if you don't have a tight end, your offense is missing a key piece. I know I'm biased, but at tight end you, man, we... We make no mistake about it. We think we are the most important position in football, and you're not going to convince me otherwise. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Eagles led out by their quarterback, and he is the leader of this offense. Jalen Hurts has that calm demeanor about him, can make the big plays as well. Greg, here he is already in his fifth year in the NFL. This is someone who just seems like every year they just get better and better, Mike, right? I mean, think back, whether it was Alabama to Oklahoma to being a Heisman finalist, going from a backup role to MVP candidate, his development has been fun to watch. And now he's universally considered one of the best all-round quarterbacks in the league. And if they want to leave here with a win, they're going to need him to be just that. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. Do a nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. That's complete to his big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Here's second and nine. Now a man who made the move inside the division. It's Saquon Barkley. And he will take this down close to a first down. Pickup of nine. They've got him a yard short of the sticks. It's tough to completely celebrate, Mike, when you don't pick up the first down. But that's a run you will take every single time. I mean, good yardage in a lot of situations, it'll get you the first down, just not here. He'll try to run here with Barkley. And he's going to be taken down here. Looks like a pretty good spot, though. Yes, he's got it. That's a first down. Now a stoppage for an injured player, and it's Saquon Barkley who appears to be shaken up. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. Here's the former Memphis Tiger, Kenneth Gainwell. And he'll get two on this one before being taken down. Second down and eight. On the ground, Gainwell. And he's going to be stopped in his tracks. He'll lose a couple of yards on that one. The speed and the get-off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. 
seventh play of this opening drive and here's third down and some problems communicating on third down and that's going to be a delay Whoa, things are getting tougher. It's now third and 15. To throw is Hurts. And he's not going to get away. They track him down. In the midst of a tight game like that, you're looking for every play that you can make to try to gain advantage. And if you can continue to get after the quarterback, disrupt the rhythm and timing of this quarterback in the second half, that could be the difference of you being able to pull away. So on fourth down, they'll call on Braden Mann to punt. Oh, a miss hit there off the side of his foot. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. The Browns led out by their quarterback, Deshaun Watson. The stardom early in Houston. Now his third season with the Browns, eighth season in the league as Watson tries to get this Browns team going in this one. There was a time, and it wasn't very long ago, Mike, that this guy was trending towards becoming one of the best quarterbacks in the entire NFL. He has to find a way to get back to stacking strong performances, one after another, and keep his team in the hunt. It'll be interesting to see how this one plays out, but if he plays well, his team is always going to have a strong chance of winning. And they're going to track him down. He couldn't find a receiver, and down he goes. We met with them the other day, Mike, and the offensive coordinator, he went out of his way. He was adamant that they felt really good early in this game. There was a lot of things on this opening script they could do to attack this defense. Well, needless to say, I don't think giving up a sack on the first play was what he had in mind, and now they face a second and long. They got to get back on track. On second down, here's Watson. They'll set up the screen. Here's Judy. And no place to go, no place to hide. He's taken down behind the line. Man, what a big-time play here by the corner. It feels like he knew that play was coming before the ball was even snapped. You can see he sticks his foot in the ground and bursts. He ends that play before it even has a chance to get started. Third and long for Watson. And that is incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. The Eagles offense going to take over now for the second time. They'll search for the first points of this game as they begin the drive on first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. A short throw taken in by Goddard. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. Ben in motion is Brown. They will not get this one off. It'll be a delay of game. Oh, 
a run with Gainwell. And he's bottled up after a gain of a yard. They need eight as they come up for third down. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. And on third down, that ball incomplete. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. And that is good coverage by the punt team as they meet him and bring him down. The Browns offense ready for their second possession. They were three and out first time around. They'll begin anew here in this scoreless game. It's first and ten. So they come to the line for first down and ten. He'll run. This is Jerome Ford. And he's brought down after a gain of a couple. Look him up on a second down and eight. So that'll do it for a fast-moving first quarter of play. Nothing, nothing is the score. And we're back in Philly in a moment. to four and he is crushed in the backfield defenders firing through shut it down right away for a loss of yardage when you can get this level of run support out of your secondary Mike man what an advantage for any defense this defensive back clearly reads run gets off his block and he's able to take down the back for a loss of yards and that is incomplete Jerry Judy, the intended target, and it's going to be fourth down. Timing and trust, critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. And not much doing there. They made sure he would not get free. The Eagles offense ready to come back out for this next possession. They'll start it here with a first and ten. in motion is Brown on first down it's Hurts that's complete to his running back Kenneth Gainwell all right so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel at number one the traditional handoffs yes you have to operate out of the backfield like a traditional running back number two you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection and maybe bigger than all of them you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing game Hurts working in the pistol. That'll be complete to Gainwell. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. We're starting to see this so often, Mike. The days of just having a running back who you're just going to turn around and hand it to, yes, that's still a critical part of NFL offensive football, but their ability to be used in the passing game, just one more thing for the defense to have to defend, 
Make them go sideline to sideline, line of scrimmage to the end zone. Defend every blade of grass, and a really good running back goes a long way in doing that. He decides to go with this safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. We'll try again. It's second and ten. To the air again. Hurts. Will set up the screen to gain well. He'll get about six before he's taken down. They go five receivers for third down and four. Hurts again. That's taken in by Dotson. And he will go all the way. Jahan Dotson. Touchdown, Eagles. We're seeing this so much all across the NFL, Mike, is the value placed on a receiver being able to turn into a runner after they're able to secure the catch. And sometimes it's easier said than done. But if you want to survive in this league as a wide receiver, you have to be able to make plays like this after the catch. And great job there by the quarterback being accurate. And great job by the receiver running after he makes the catch. Jake Elliott now for the extra point. His kick is good. And the Eagles will take a 7-0 lead. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. Pierre Strong on the return. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. Now it's the Browns' turn as they get set to take over again on offense. They'll be hoping to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 our score as this drive begins with a first down. the shotgun here's what the pressure gets there and down he goes back inside the 20 yard line really nice start for this defense here early through the first quarter two different players each reporting a sack offensive line is going to have to get together on the sideline with their coach and identify where's the weakness in our protection how can we get extra bodies and extra attention because we still got a long way to go in this one Work to do now as they come up on second and long. This gives to Ford heading right. Room to run at the 30. And they will finally get him down, but not before he's able to take this up near the 40-yard line. It's definitely nice to have one of those bruising, punishing backs to kind of help wear down the defense. And I'll tell you what. You can give me a flat-out electric runner like this guy any day of the week. He can turn on those jets, get in that high gear, and he is gone. Set to go now on first and ten. Shotgun snap to Watson. Open man, that's Amari Cooper. And he's down on the other side of midfield. Markham at the 48-yard line. I'd like to see them do a better job here the rest of the game, Mike, just disguising the coverage from the pre-snap look to the post-snap look. And, and what I mean is, when you have a quarterback at this level and what they see before the ball's in their hands is the exact same thing they see once they do get the ball, everything is just so much easier for them to process. Change the look, change the coverages, move your safeties, make the quarterback have to process with the ball in his hand. 
Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down, but as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. He'll get about six before he's taken down. Two minutes remain. First half in a 7-0 game. We'll come back to Philadelphia right after this. Watson now on third down. He'll try to run for it. And that's a great job defensively here on third down. Not only taking away all the options down the field through the air, but when the quarterback decides to turn into a runner himself, they're able to converge and make the play and keep him short of the first down. Here's Corey Bohorquez now. As they'll say no to the long field goal and hope to pin them deep. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback and will come out to the 20-yard line. Here comes the Philly offense now as they make their way back onto the field. They lead it here in the second quarter, 7-0, as they begin with a first and 10. A shotgun snap now to Hertz. Catch made there. That's Smith. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. The key to good route running, Mike, is deceiving the man covering you into thinking you're doing one thing, and then you change it and do the other. And in this case, he had the defender thinking this was a vertical downfield route. And then next thing you know, he gets to his break point. He breaks in. And that ball is put right on the money for a big pickup. And a big strike for good yardage there all the way up to midfield. They'll come up here first and ten. Hurts. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground in line, but they can occasionally split out in the slot and man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times, they're too big for defensive backs. Here's a timeout for Philadelphia. That is their second, as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go until halftime. They'll come up here on second down and five. Hurts will try it again. And he'll be hauled down at about the 35-yard line. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. And with just four seconds left in the first half, a timeout is called. Here's Jake Elliott now to try the field goal. This one from 52 yards away. Elliott's kick is good. And the Eagles can tack on three more, extending the lead here late in the first half. 
And that's a really nice boost here before the break. I mean, you work the clock well. You're able to steal some points. The biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. Just one second remaining in this first half, and they will kick it away. This kick is fielded in the end zone, but no move to bring it out. It's touchback, and that ball will come out to the 30-yard line. A first and ten. Here's Watson. Gonna look deep. Looking for more. And that is caught. Whoa, he stayed in bounds. A terrific catch. So we've reached halftime here in South Philly, and the Eagles are on top. As we'll head down the coast now to Orlando. That's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports. Halftime report. Coach. Okay, Michael, thanks very much. And with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports studios. This is the Halftime Report. We just watched a fine first half out of the mobile quarterback. That's Jalen Hurts. He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as his guys were able to build a double-digit lead. Coach, thank you. Back here on EA Sports as we count down to the kickoff of the second half. Third quarter set to commence. And we're back underway here on EA Sports. On the return, this is strong. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Browns offense ready to get going again. They'll have it first in this third quarter. And nothing doing from the offense just yet. Down 10-0 as they come up with first and 10. Here's Watson. He's got his man, the tight end, David Njoku. As a route runner, once you identify zone coverage like they were playing here, the key is find open space and stay in it. He did a nice job here because that was not a big hole. The quarterback had to put a little extra on that one, and they were able to make the completion. Here's Watson now on second down. Work in the middle of the field, but that is incomplete. Amari Cooper was the man he was looking for, and it's going to bring up a third down. This is why it's so critical that the quarterback and his intended target are on the same page. they got to speak the same language. When there's miscommunication, it leads to errant throws, and when errant throws lead to big missed opportunities. That one on target to Moore. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. Well, they finally are able to convert on a third down. And, Mike, when you look back at a box score, some of the biggest indications of how well the game went, of course, you don't want to turn the ball over. How do you execute in the red zone? And then how are you on third down? Third downs typically lead to long drives. Long drives tend to lead to points. It's not a real complicated formula. Stay on the field. The more snaps, the more plays, the better. Second and seven. Again, it's four. And he is not going to get away. Might have gotten a yard, but it will set up third down. Out of the gun, Watson. 
He's got his man. Right side. It's complete. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second along. It's second down and 12. They'll run with four. He'll turn this into a gain of about four. It's going to lead to third down. Take the handoff. Now Watson. And that is incomplete. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. The Browns getting their punting team out there. As he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And this is going to work out for him. Out of bounds, and they'll mark it inside the 10. The Eagles offense trotting back out for their first involvement of this second half. We'll see how they want to attack things here, backed up deep in their own end. It's first and 10. Hurt snap. That's a short one. Caught by Goddard. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. They face second down and seven. Hurts delivers it quick to Brown. He'll get about six before he's taken down. Now a third and two. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. Open man, right side. He's got it. A pickup of 12 yards. First down, Philadelphia. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. They continue to get chunk plays like this. This thing could get out of reach fast. Here's first and ten. A run with Barkley. And they're going to get him down this time. Not as easy as the last carry. This time they drop him behind the line of scrimmage. Second down. With how fast they were all over that play, you almost wonder, Mike, was there a pre-snap tell? Did they know that play was coming? Because I'll tell you, that defense was on it from the start. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. This one intercepted. And he's going to be taken down, but it's a quick change situation. He has set his offense up with first and goal. You know, Mike, I like the mindset of this offensive coordinator. He's saying, listen, I'm not looking to preserve this lead. I'm looking to extend my lead. Now, that aggressive play calling in this case led to the turnover. Now your defense has to take the field. Can they bail you out and keep this lead unchanged prior to their next possession? The Browns offense ready for this next possession. And they start in the best possible situation. 
It is first and goal. They'll run here. It's four. Down to the goal line. No signal. Is he in? They'll say it did not break the plane, but a real solid gain on first and goal. Now here's second and goal. So these two teams take the long walk to the opposite end of the stadium. We've come to the end of the third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Back to throw is Watson. And he will score. Game on. David Njoku. Touchdown, Cleveland. Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. Gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance. But can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? Dustin Hopkins now to add the extra point. The kick is good. Important extra point. The difference is just three. A field goal here in the fourth quarter. So they've cut into the lead. Now just a field goal behind as they kick it off. This taken at the five. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. The Eagles offense ready to take over once again. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and ten. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. That's to the left side and taken in by Smith. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. A lot could go wrong anytime you decide to put the ball in the air here late in the fourth quarter as you're trying to run out the clock and protect this lead. But at the same time, I like that they haven't gone super conservative. Just hand off right, hand off left. And it just turns into tackling practice. So I like the balance of making the defense defend everything. Because right now, possess the ball, protect the ball, and ultimately just run the clock out. Devontae Smith, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up second down. Fake the give. Now it's Hurts. And they get to him and finally bring him down. It will go down as a sack. Big time opportune sack there by the defense. Mike, they're right on the cusp of field goal range. You can't allow this to become a two-possession ball game here in the fourth quarter. Massive third down coming up here. See if they can get off the field and get the ball back to their offense. So, backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long.
to throw is Hurts. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. When you get the ball in this situation, what you're looking to do is not only end the drive with a touchdown to put the game away, but you'd love to chew up some clock. So with that incomplete pass now likely putting an end to this series, that's a big opportunity for them to try to close this game out. Crochet to return it. And that's a nice job of getting to him, making sure that return was not going anywhere. The Browns offense about ready to take over once more. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. He'll run. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. To throw on second down is Watson. That's caught by four. Defensive coordinators preach all the time, play pass defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball, keep that to a short game. Here is a big one. Third down and two. They'll stick to the ground. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they get five on third and two. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. Line of scrimmage is the 37-yard line for first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. And that'll be a pickup of three. all over this one they get them behind the line of scrimmage a loss of a couple what you see there is really the key to a good free safety blitz time the snap so that the offense cannot determine that you're rushing it's exactly what happened here he's able to bring the ball carrier down for a loss throwing on third down Watson taking off he'll try to get there Great reaction by the defense. At first, Mike, it looked like there was enough room out there for the quarterback to pick this one up himself. But they were able to rally to the ball, and I think the officials are going to mark him just short. Trailing late. They've got to go here. It's fourth down. They snap it to Watson. A quick slant looked in by Moore. So two minutes left to play in the second half. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. Plenty of time, all three timeouts left. It's first and ten. They'll drop to throw. That's caught left side by Cooper. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. Here is second and seven. From the shotgun, here's Watson. That's complete. 
to Moore on the right side. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. All right, this is a good start. Plays like these are definitely going to help as you work your way into scoring range. While you have to be wary of the clock and keep an eye on it, they should have plenty of time here to finish this drive. Watson to throw again. Got his man at the six. And he'll be taken down. The Browns going to use the first of their timeouts here. They get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. Here is first and goal. Again, it's Watson. This one caught at the four. To the goal line and in. Jerome four. Touchdown, Brown. And this is just high-level quarterback play down here in the red zone. The way they teach them their progressions, Mike, it's touchdown, check down. You don't want to take a sack, and you certainly don't want to turn the ball over. He knows he has nothing down the field, nowhere to go to his receivers and tight ends. Check it down to your back. Let them do the rest after the catch, and it results in a touchdown. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. On the return, it's Kenneth Gainwell. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The home team's offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession. They trail by four. A touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. And the rush gets there. Down he goes. Defense came out in a soft zone, and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down, he ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down. Now on second and long. Pressure there, he can't get a throw away, and he's taken down. The defensive coaches, they preached all week, Mike. They have to have relentless pursuit of this quarterback when he tries to extend the play. So often, it results in a great play for the offense and a big pickup. This time, because of that pursuit, it leads to a big loss. Big play in the game right here. It's third down. Here's Pertz. He'll look underneath here for Barkley. And he'll gain some yardage here, but that is not nearly enough for the first down. So it's going to bring up fourth down.
throwing is Hurts. That's going to be caught. Finding yourself down to your final timeout, this is the moment. This is the drive that you have to find a way to extend if you're going to claw yourself back into this game. But the defense comes up with a huge stop, and that will all but end this game. First and 10. Victory formation, defense powerless to stop. And that should just about do it. Second and 11. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long, everyone. <laughs>